In this video I want to try and explain the logic behind the insertion sort but before we can discuss the insertion sort we need to discuss the, the method insert. What you have in front of you is basic code of an array of books and this array is seen as being sorted on the price of the books. So the books are sorted on price in ascending order and we are inserting a new book into this list and we want the list to be sorted afterwards. The parameter last is simply the position of the last element in uh, the array. Okay, so let's look at the while loop. The, the second part of the while loop says while the price of the new one is less than the price of the current one where current starts at the back and keeps on going forward so we it typically says 60 is less than 90 so current minus minus so we go to 60 is less than 70 then we check at the element at position 2 60 is less than 67 and then we stop at position 1 current pause will then be 1 where we see that 60 is not less than 55. So the while loop terminates when the new one is not less than the one at position current pause. Okay, so you remember that we now are at position 1 where we found that 60 is not less than 55. So that is current pause. Now it should be obvious to see that for us to insert 60 to keep the list sorted it needs to go to current pause plus one. So you'll see at the bottom of the while loop it says list.insert current pass plus one. So as soon as you find an element in the list from the back that is less than the new one you want to put in, you put the new one at the next position or you insert it at the next position. So clearly in this case 60 goes after 55 and all the others after 60 are moved one to the right. But what happens if I wanted to insert 22? And this is where the first part of the while condition comes in which says while current pause is not equal to minus 1. Notice 22 is less than all the other numbers in the list. So current pause will be decreasing until current pause will become literally minus 1. Because when it's at position 0, it will still say 22 is less than 34, and then current pass will be minus 1. So this is the scenario we will have. Current pass will be minus 1, and then now obviously current pass plus 1 will be 0. And if you think about it, the 22 needs to go at the start of the list now, which is current pass plus 1. Let's just think of the if step about the if statement inside the while loop. The if statement says if current pause is not minus one, current is uh, the book at position current pause. That is simply to take care of, take care of the scenario where current pause goes down to minus one, and obviously when it becomes minus one, then list minus one will crash the program. So that if statement is just for the scenario where you go right through the list, pass the first one, and then obviously current cannot be given a value. So that would be your final result with 22 inserted at 0 and all the others moved to the right. Now the insertion sort uses the insert. It first of all says that the first element of any unsorted array can be seen as a separate array or separate list that is already sorted. And then it says, let's take the second element, in this case 34, using the insert method we've just discussed, to insert it into this list that is sorted. So you'll see we'll, we'll be calling uh, the method insert, saying that we want to insert 34, into a list that stops at position 0. So we're inserting 34 into a list that stops at position 0. So if you do that, if you insert 34 into a list that contains only 90, using the insert method of the first part of this video, obviously we will have 35 and then 90. And 
the first two elements in this list is now seen as a sorted list. This process continues. Now the next one is you say let's insert 17 into the list that stops at position 1. So its last element is position 1. So this process continues as we insert one element after the other into the list and the list, the sorted list keeps on growing. So first 100 is inserted, then 77 is inserted, then 22 is inserted until the whole list is sorted. Okay, so then just to summarize and just to look at the actual code that would do the sort. If you remember, we, we, the first element that we insert into this sorted list is at position 1. So you'll see the for loop starts at 1. And then obviously the last element that we insert is the last element in the array. So that's at position either number, number element minus 1, if you have a normal array of integers, or at position count minus 1, if you have an array list. So you, the first element we insert is at 1, the last one is at count minus 1. So the for loop goes from 1 to count minus 1, or from 1 to number of elements minus 1. Uh, and then you simply just call the insert method. And you say insert the current one, whether it's list x or new one, into the list that stops at the previous position. Just take note that in class I use the method put at place instead of the insert, which you will see in this video.